What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out Winota once more with a Jeskai list. This is specifically Hoagland's uh, Jeskai list. Uh, exact copy and uh, I think this is probably the best iteration of Winota um, that I have seen at least so I'm actually really excited for this uh, to kind of go over it we have Charming Prince and raise the alarm in the true dro two drop slots uh, this just gives us more triggers later for the Winota obviously and at instant speed you can block some stuff with it uh, Charming Prince is just a nice thing to be able to pull out uh, but also it keeps you alive against a lot of things you can scry fix the top of your deck as you need to uh, so this is just in general, I think, a very good card. You can also flicker something like the Elite Guard Mage or Agent of Treachery uh, later on in the game if you need to. Uh, as far as the three drop slot, a uh, lot of enablers for Winota. We've got Bone Crusher Giant, which not only deals damage and obviously can clear the board a little bit for us, but uh, also is a non-human, so it is going to trigger off of the Winota if it does attack. Legion War Boss, a great card in this deck because it just continuously spits out tokens for us. So uh, this is really, really a, a, an all-star in this list. Uh, and Chandra essentially plays the same role. Uh, you most often will be zeroing her for creating two 1-1 one, one red elementals. Uh, and again, hopefully triggering off that Winota. Now you can uh, use her minus two uh, with uh, things like Raise the Alarm, which is very nice, but in general... Uh, you're most often just going to be spitting out some tokens for more triggers. Uh, Elite Guard Mage is a great card to not only pull off of Winota, but just kind of have in your deck. Uh, gain 3 life and draw a card is great. Uh, being able to flicker it with a Charming Prince, fantastic as well. Uh, and then hopefully again, like we said, you can hit it off of Winota. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, essentially it lets you, for every non-human creature you control that's attacking, uh, you go to the top 6 cards of your deck, you can put a human creature card from among those uh, revealed cards onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Now, uh, you may notice, you know, human, uh, human, and then human. So we've got quite a number of things that we can hit off of it. And then of course, we've got all of these enablers that kind of help us get there. So Winota is the key card. This is the one we're trying to get to. Uh, I'm gonna skip uh, over this really quick and just talk about Agent of Treachery. Obviously a very strong card. It's a great card to hit off of Winota because it immediately steals something and swings in. Uh, so this is a really, really powerful card in this deck. We are running the full four. Uh, Luca is a nice new card from Akoria that I'm actually excited to test out. Um, I have not played with this at all yet, but uh, essentially it does give you a way to, you know, exile the top three cards, cast one of those if it's a creature card later on in the game, uh, assuming you still have Luca out. Uh, you can exile a creature you control, then reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal a creature card with a higher, higher converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Obviously, something like a Bone Crusher Giant or like a Legion War Boss, if we just are not having good luck finding anything, that's not a bad way to go. We can we can just kind of exile that and hopefully scale it up into one of these three uh, creatures. Uh, and then the last thing here is each creature you control deals damage equal to its power to, uh, I believe it's power to each opponent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're planning to get a lot of creatures out. Uh, and this just kind of helps us finish off the game if we can get to that minus seven. Uh, lands, as far as what we've got, uh, two plains, one island, two mountain. Uh, so those are our basic lands. Uh, four hollow fountain, four steam vents, and four sacred foundry. No surprise there, those are pretty much always four ofs. Uh, we do have a temple of epiphany and a temple of triumph. And then the four, full four, uh, Ragrin Triumph. I uh, hope I'm saying that correctly. Nice cycler, but also just a nice tri land. And then three Fable Passage, not the full four there. So uh, let's give this a shot. I have not played with this yet. Uh, I have already played with Winota. If you've not already seen, we did a Boros list uh, with her, uh, which was really, really fun. Um, honestly, it was one of my, uh, of the new decks that we played, it was one of my favorites. So I'm excited to hopefully test this out and see how it goes. So um, if you're not already, by the way, I just want to mention if you'd like to subscribe or uh like or comment do anything like that support our channel we really really would appreciate it um we certainly understand you know uh it's it's uh it's a big world out there there's a lot of other youtubers so we certainly appreciate that you guys are spending the time here uh as you see fit this is a pretty easy keep uh nice two drop options here 
Uh, and the great thing about this is if they don't play something to Bone Crusher, uh, or Shock, I should say, then we can just raise the alarm at the end of the turn and get more creatures out. Uh, and that's pretty much our game plan. Turn four, as long as we got get a fourth land, we'll be able to uh, drop out Winota. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Temple of Epiphany, huh? Could be a lot of things. And there's our fourth land. I'm going to keep that. Uh, Chandra's a very, very good enabler with Winota, especially because those, those creatures have haste. They just kind of immediately go in. Looks like Teamer Adventures, or Is It Adventures, which is kind of a funny one. Um, we will pass. See what they do. This Adventures deck is quite good. Um, sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and raise the alarm here. Uh, we're not going to shock anything, obviously. And then I think next turn we will just play the Legion War boss. Uh, give him something to uh, have to do, basically. They could brazen borrow this, actually, if they wanted to. Um, yep. Let's get this out there. Chandra might not also be a bad call, but I want to kind of just get as many creatures out as possible. We'll see. They probably do have the Brazen Borrower here, so they may just bounce these two. Uh, or these two. Okay. Sure. Certainly not the best thing for us, but I, I mean, it's not the worst either. We still have at least one creature, and then next turn we'll be able to get the Winota down. And hope that they don't have another Bone Crusher Giant to deal with that. Uh, let's see. Bay of Wishes. Yep. Very, very good card. Difficult for us to... Uh, Mystical Dispute. Okay. And Ugin. Sure. Good, good. Uh, difficult to say if we actually want to run the Winota out into this. Um, I'm going to do this. Let's thin our deck just a bit. We'll get a red. Let's do it um, while we know we can. Uh, let's try and do this now. We do get one trigger at the very least. Uh, Let's get the Vanguard, or the Guard Mage, excuse me. And that's actually great. Um, chances are they're going to have a way to blow this up. They could just Ugin this if they really wanted to. Uh, and so getting another one out here is going to be very, very good for us. Sure. And fear are the sea. I assume they just blow Winota up. So they are going to lose the Ugin here, um, which is worth noting. <clears throat> Gotta do it. Could I mean we could lean more on the Chandra end of things, but I don't think we need to here. Um and we'll get, you know, an attack in on this. Okay, well, I guess we win. Um, I didn't really think we were in a way to win, but that's okay. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, let's jump to game two. Um, I mean, we were we were in a decent shape, but I don't think we were about to win by any means. Hey, Dovin Grand Arbiter, Arbiter, excuse me. All right, game two. Uh, that was a pretty quick first game. Surprisingly, I thought that was going to go a little bit longer, but uh, you know that's okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, if you haven't checked out our other video that, or videos that we put out today, uh, we played a really, really sweet list, um, Bant list, that I loved. Uh, I would highly suggest you check that out. This hand is not great for us. I think I'm going to mulligan this. I, I don't think I, I like that too much. <clears throat> Let's put this. Is that the card we want to put on the bottom, though? I feel like it's not. I feel like it's this. Um... 
Could have gone either way. It's more converted mana cost is what I'm looking at, but Legion War Boss is a good draw there. Let's get this try land out. Uh, basic Forest leads me to think, uh, maybe not. Okay, not sure then. Uh, we'll put that out. We'll put this out. Let's go ahead and just scry two here. Um, I think we actually want to bottom both of these. We kind of just want to get to the Winota, uh, so we can start triggering it, especially with the Legion War Boss in hand. I think that's the best call. Oh, there's the Hexproof deck. Sure. This is a very sweet deck, um, but what I will say is it doesn't deal well with incoming creatures, um, so I'm very happy to, to swing in here. My assumption is they're just going to start dropping enchantments on this, or just play a lot of Season of Growth. Um, there we go. Yep. With Mutate, I didn't think of that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. We couldn't have asked for it any better. All right. Well, let's go. I mean, Agent of Treachery. Gonna steal the creature. We get another Winota. Um, we'll keep this one. We get another Agent of Treachery. <laughs> Probably could have just taken their land there, but I think taking their engine card is pretty important. I mean, that was a good turn. That was a very good turn. Um, and that's exactly what this deck is looking to do, is just trigger a bunch of stuff. There we go. Got the win. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, this definitely runs a lot better than the... Hey, rank up. Than the uh, version that I was initially running. We're dropping a few frames here, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. We've been having problems with that lately. Um, I'll see what I can do off camera. Um, but yeah, this is much better than the Boros version, much more consistent, it seems, already. Uh, so, um, certainly I'm sure there are bad draws and things like that, but even on a mulligan down, that was, that was a very, very good, uh, showing for this deck. Uh, this is a bit of a tough one, honestly. Um, you know, we've got cards that work very, very well with Winota, so there's a chance we draw them. <sighs> I don't know though. This is kind of tough. I'm, I'm gonna. We're learning. This is a learning experiment, right? Like that's what we're doing. Um, this is all about having some fun. So let's just give it a shot. It's like another adventures deck. That is not bad. That helps. Uh, and we'll see what we get. Chandra, very very good uh, in this list. However, what I will say is. We may be up against just a little bit too much pressure. Uh, looks like this is not actually... I mean, it's an adventures deck, but it's not really the the adventures deck you expect. Um, let's pass. <clears throat> I think here we actually war boss, not Chandra. I think that's correct. Um, just to get more creatures to stick, hopefully. Um, and then we'll, we'll see what they do. Yeah. Sure. We gotta do it. Uh, let's pay two. Unfortunately, we're gonna be taking a pretty big hit here. And there's not much we can do about it, I think. This was probably not the best keep, but that's okay. Learning experiments. It'd be good to have had like a Bone Crusher Giant or something to, uh, yeah, something to interact with their board. <clears throat> Even a Raise the Alarm would have been like super good uh, because we could have raised the alarm on the attack with the Rimrock Knight and the Innkeeper and then, you know, we would have been in good shape. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we play this out, but we're definitely not going to get there. Um... Well, good game. They got it. Uh, well done. That was a pretty quick game. This is a pretty quick video, actually. That was three games already. Wow. Um, okay, well, so far, I'm loving this deck. This is very, very sweet. Uh, Hoagland made a very solid list here, so I'm excited to keep playing it. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into another video here in just a minute, but hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you very soon with the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a bit.